I bet you've heard of Elo Connect if you've been using Encompass for even a few years, but have you heard of Encompass Web and why should you want to get on it, especially if you're in sales? That's what I'm going to explain to you right now. So when you're looking at Encompass Web, one of the things that people most misunderstand is the flexibility and the state of what you can do now. So in this video, I'm going to show you four things that you need to make sure you're taking advantage of now, not later, but right now. First of all, I want to explain what actually Encompass Web is. The second thing is to give you an idea of how to change your mindset, how to change the paradigm from Encompass Desktop Experience to Encompass Web Experience. The third thing is I'm going to give you real life examples of how it's going to make a difference in your day. And the last but not least, if you watch this video to the end, I'm going to show you exactly how to set up your Encompass Web out of the standard presentation that you receive into the customization that is very simple for your Encompass admin to do. And if they need any help, we'll give that to them too. So let's get over and check it out. So what is Encompass Web? Think about taking your Encompass loan file and putting it on a web browser. That means that you now have the ability to access your loan file anywhere that you have the internet. Now, all along really since 2004, when Encompass Desktop came out, we've been uh, having to live in this Windows environment. We always have to use a Windows machine. Now we've come up with different ways to create virtual environments of Windows machines um, on any number of ways so that we can get to Encompass on the go. We can have laptops, we can have super light laptops, but the reality is if you want something on your phone or on a tablet, you just didn't have a choice. Again, you could have done some hacks and people have tried that, but it's just not the same. The reason it's not the same is because Encompass Web deals with situations where input forms and tools, they're built on responsive frameworks. So this way you can take an input form that is traditionally right now customized, crowded, complex, uh, hard to train on sometimes even, and even maybe slow to respond because of everything that's going on there. You can now change this into one easy to use sequence of cards, or you can use custom input forms exclusively, but I'm going to explain through this video why you want to think about using Encompass Web and why you want to really think about moving there sooner than later. What we found is that most companies get the most traction upfront with sales. So if you're in sales or if you support your sales team in any way, shape or form, I want you to keep watching because you're going to see something that's probably going to go, aha and you're going to want to move forward to the next steps. So Encompass Web, simply the same loan file, you're able to access it on a mobile device or on a tablet or on a laptop that's not Windows based and you can get to your loan file, do everything you're used to doing uh, in Encompass Web. That's the summation. Now, the second part of Encompass Web is a paradigm shift of what we've been used to. Think about this. We've been using Encompass for 20 years. Now, I started lending in 1993, and trust me when I say that almost all of those years since 2004 have been on using Encompass Desktop. It's a very long time. That's a lot of muscle memory. That's a lot of knowledge. It's a lot of experience. It's also some frustrations. There's things that happen on desktop that just make you go, hmm. And so the idea of moving to Encompass Web is a chance for you to actually do something brand new, but still stay in Encompass. So it's quite a moment and it's why a lot of companies, especially when I show them what's possible with Encompass Web, it's the reason why I get asked, why don't I wanna do this? And so the general answer is Encompass Web is maturing, Ice Mortgage Technology continues to bring improvements and releases every month as it goes through 2024 as we're recording this. So as it is now in July, it's going to be different in August with version 23.2. It's going to change even for the better and by version 24.3, sometime towards the end of the year. And then in the next year, we're going to see the full maturation of Encompass Web to do everything that you can do in Encompass Desktop and then some. So why think about doing this now? Why make this idea of changing now when I just said that it's not fully there for the entire company? It's because what I found when I work with companies and, and help them rebuild their workflows and help them understand what it is that they're missing, 
Encompass Web is entirely supportive of the sales process right now because you can get into brand new ideas and brand new thought processes of how to organize the workflow so that your sales team can go right from initial conversation right through that sales process very quickly, very nimbly, without any confusion, and also use automation that's exclusively available on Encompass Web that you just can't get with Encompass Desktop natively. That means you don't have to pay extra. Does this require some extra training? Sure. Is it hard to do? No. Every time that I show someone what's possible in Encompass Web, again, they just ask me, why aren't we doing this now? Uh, we recently had a demonstration with a sales team who was um, very comfortable in what they're doing. The sales manager, after I showed them the demonstration of what's possible, said, sure, I'll kick it around for a day. I thought up a day later and they were like, can you please add several more of our team members? Because yeah, I see what you mean. So that's the big paradigm shift of moving from these complicated workflows and with Encompass Desktop, which I'm very familiar with, into a nice clean UI where everything is organized in a proper sequence that's especially built for your specific workflow that you can do very easily. That leads us into real life examples of why Encompass Web is a big difference. When it looks like you can't do anything more with your Encompass desktop natively, companies tend to turn to third parties to provide for some alternative solutions or alternative technologies. And now that Ice Mortgage Technology is actually building and improving Encompass Web with automations, with things that you couldn't find in Encompass Desktop, now is the time to actually reconsider this. So some real life examples of that automation are using enhanced conditions to automatically add and update conditions into the e-folder based upon any number of things. This could be data updates. This could be services returned. This could be services that return data and then you do something about that as well. Also with Encompass Web, some of the things that are enhanced are also your workflow tasks. So when we think about either task-based workflows or activity-based workflows, whatever is your preferred choice of words, the idea is that when things have to get done, we're always turning to other ways to document the things that have to get done, whether it's a written notepad of things that have to get done or an email chain, or maybe even put it as a, as a reminder on your calendar. But you can do all of this now in the actual loan file so everyone is constructively notified of what has to happen and when it needs to be done by. Some of the other use cases that are completely applicable right now, again, are on the sales team. So when I look at Encompass Web as it is right now, the one thing that's a standout that everybody goes, holy cow, yes, can I have that please? Is the ability to actually create up to 10 opportunities per loan file in Encompass. And you can even create opportunities in Encompass without a loan file with a borrower. So it gives the sales process and the operations process to have these ongoing conversations with their borrowers without having to jeopardize the status of the loan file the way it is now. So think about this, you're in the middle of a loan file and whether it's before application or after application, but before closing, and there's a what if situation, there's maybe something happens with the property and now you have to consider alternative loan programs or maybe even alternative loan types. Maybe you have to go from FHA to conventional. Maybe you have to go and you realize that the borrower is a veteran and they haven't used their benefits and you wanna go from conventional to VA. You can check out all of these opportunities now without having to do anything specifically with the loan file. And that's a game changer. It's especially helpful in pre-application workflows where you're working with borrowers who aren't really sure what they want to do and they want to explore different opportunities for what they could do. So in Encompass Web, you can actually go right into those opportunities with real pricing without having to run someone's credit. And you can actually go through and figure things out with the borrower like never before. So these are just some of the examples of why it's important to give Encompass Web an honest chance of what's going on. And if you ever have any questions, or you wanna see what it could do for your company, whoever you're working with now, if you just don't feel the same level of comfort that I'm giving you, please reach out and we'll give you a demonstration of what's possible and what we can do to help you. So on screen right now, you've got an example of what Encompass Web could be set up to do. Now this is a sales team example. And the concept for this workflow is that 
the loan officer, loan originator is working on some other platform and they need to quickly go through that process so that they can go from talking to a borrower to running someone's credit, checking out the scenarios, to filling in the full application, to bringing in closing cost templates and third party fees, and then ultimately getting to disclosure. So what we see here on this quick summary is the estimated the closing date. And again, that's just one field. There's data behind here that actually gives the loan originator a quick way to go through the process to move. And when we go through like the credit report and we've got the ability to order credit and view credit, import liabilities, and of course run pricing, and then go ahead and make sure that the forms are updated with assets or liabilities or the closing cost details, things like that. The part that's really important here is that when you go through the full application workflow, companies can actually choose to automate their initial disclosures. And when this usually comes up, it's usually on Encompass Web. Keep in mind that automated disclosures actually is possible with Encompass Desktop, but a lot of times companies just don't feel good about that because of compliance reasons, things like that. But on the web, it can actually enable to have your compliance or your maven report run before disclosures as an automatic setting. If you don't know how to do that, reach out. We'll explain that to you. In the meantime, check out what you can do with the URLA. Now, I trained several thousand of loan officers and loan originators back when we went from the 2009-1003 to the 2020-1003. Who could forget that if you were in the business, right? A ton of learning, a ton of change. You're always forgetting where to go for which section and which part of the URLA. Now you've got an entirely thing laid out to where you can go. If you want to go into assets real quick, you can get there. If you want to flip over into credit, you can get there or back to bar information. It's all laid out here very quickly. So this is why I constantly hear from sales organizations and in executives, when I show them this ability, they ask me, Larry, why aren't we doing this now? To which I say, I don't know. Let's go ahead and do it. So if you ever have any questions at all about anything that we've talked about here, please post them in the comments. Please subscribe to our channel. This is the kind of information that we constantly bring out because we're passionate about teaching how to leverage the Encompass platform from top to bottom, inside and out for all roles. And that's really our mission. If there's anything we can ever do to help support you or your company and helping you understand how to create settings and ways to use Encompass Web, and especially with the changing from desktop to web, again, please reach out. You can also find out as an administrator, we've got two main courses out there. One is Mastering Encompass for Admins. The other is Mastering Encompass Web Version Edition. And so we've always got the ability to make sure that we're transferring our knowledge from us to you making sure that you know how to best support your company. Thanks very much for listening. Again, please subscribe and we'll catch you on the next video.